Right then, so let's make this for the third lesson, all about binomial. Binomial is awesome. It's so nice and easy to do. Right, so what do we know then? So it tells us here, I say this, but it's going to be a really hard one. So the probability is the same, and I've got to find P. So the probability that x is equal to 7 will be 10 C7. There'll be P to the power of 7, and then 1, mi 1 minus P cubed. The probability of x is 8 will be 10 C8. It'll be P to the 8, and then 1 minus P squared. So my successes are 7, failures are 3, successes are 8, failures are 2. Right then. So, hmm, what have we got then? So 10 C7 is 120, I think. So I've got 1. 20, P to the 7, 1 minus P cubed, 10 C8 apparently is 45, so 45, P to the 8, 1 minus P squared. I can divide by, hang on, I can divide through by P to the 7 and 1 minus P squared. So if you imagine doing that, the p's would go on the left, and that would just be a 1 minus p. I'd just be left with a p from there, and that would be gone as well. Uh, so what have we got then? So 120, 1 minus p, is 45p. There. So what have we got? I mean, I could divide through, couldn't I, the 120 and the 1 to the 45. So I've got 120 minus 120p is 45p. So 120 is 165p. So 120 over 165 is p, which is 8 over 11 according to the pack. So that's using the formula, the, the NCR formula. You've got to be happy with using that formula. And then thinking about what will cancel out. Right, let's have a look at this one then. <laughs> so it tells you that the probability that x is 3 is 2 lots of the probability that x is 4. Right then. So I know my thing is there, n is 12. So the probability that x is 3 is 12c3. Then p cubed 1 minus p to the 9. The probability that x is 4 will be 12c4. P to the 4, 1 minus P to the 8. <sighs> right, so how have I done it then? So, we're looking at the probability that X is 3. There's two lots of probabilities that X is 4. So, 12C3, they've got to 220. P cubed, 1 minus P to the 9. The, then it's two lots of. The 12C4, they've got ours for 5495 with P4, 1 minus P to the 8. Uh, we can divide by, so same idea. So I can divide through by P cubed, or 1 minus P to the 8. So that goes, that goes, that goes, all that goes. Mm. So I've got 220, 1 minus p, and then 990p. So I've got 220 minus 220p is 990p. 220 is, what's that going to be? So it was 1210p. So 220 over 1210 is p, which is 2 over 11p. What do you think of that then? <laughs> Oh well, never mind. Good news is though, if you haven't got anything in general terms, you can use your calculator. I'll show you that in class because it's dead simple to do. Right, see you later. Bye.